Hi guys, welcome back to RRC. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a 3D printed uh, 1/14th scale flatbed trailer, um, which I'm going to build in this video. So these, what you see in front here, are the left and right chassis components. This one here, I've already um, put together to see what it was like, um, and it's quite solid there's a lot of parts to this trailer all these holes here are for various braces uh, suspension hangers and so on so in this part of the video I'm just going to be gluing together the two uh, chassis uh, legs left and right uh, this here is the rear trailer bumper which slots into these items Okay guys, so there you get an idea of the length of this trailer. Um, that's the left hand side of the chassis done. Uh, we just gotta do the right neck, so we'll get on with that. Use this glue in a well ventilated room guys. Make sure it's all still in line. Okay guys, that's both of the chassis legs um, glued together. But we'll let them go off and then we'll continue with the build. Hi guys, welcome back to RRC. Um, I'm gonna put the 3D printed suspension and axles together. Um, still waiting for the bearings and stuff for this so um, but at least I'll be able to get the actual frame together, so yeah, let's get on with it. There's the uh, trailer suspension together in both ends, um, waiting for the shafts to go through into the axles, um, to put the rims on. These are the 3D printed wheels. But yeah, just have a look how good that is, guys. Even down to the little nuts in the centre of the hub. Hi, guys, welcome back to RRC. Um, in this video, I'm continuing with the 3D printed trailer as you can see it's all glued and bolted together where it needs to be uh, I'm just going to continue fitting these cross braces in for the chassis so yeah let's get on with it
only reason I done the bolts outwards guys on is because the gap the distance between these smaller um, sections difficult to get anything in to tighten them up so um, I put them on the outside and I'll trim them off okay guys I've got all these rails fitted and then I'll show you uh, once they're all bolted up hey guys welcome back to RRC um, the 3d printed trailer uh, I showed you fitted all the chassis supports in and I have now fitted off camera fitted the uh, suspension to the chassis so it's looking pretty good I have also fitted the towing hitch bracket which is this plate here been doing is a uh, 3d printed wheels uh, and I've just fitted tires these are not 3d printed these are an aftermarket tire um, which are pretty good very similar to the Tamiya tires so um, I've done them that's one axle completed for that I've, I've painted them a little bit not too fantastic but they don't look too bad just to brighten them up uh, so in the rest of this video I'm just going to be fitting the tires to the rest of the uh, rims and uh, that'll be all the tires done the other thing that I've got to figure out is uh, the axle shafts I'm gonna have to try and make my own and see how we get on with that but okay guys let's get on with fitting the rest of these tires these tires also come with the foam inside them I don't even see that guys guys just to act as a, a lubricant to get the tires on now the problem arises when you, you're trying to get it into this onto this screw because it's coming against that tire that's why I should have really uh, not put them together but hey ho let's see how it goes Okay guys, uh, still have both tyres on, um, <clears throat> so one more to do, I'll do that off camera guys and then, uh, okay guys, um, yeah that's all the tyres fitted uh, for the rear axle, so the only thing that needs to be sorted out is the axles itself to mount these wheels on, whether it's going to be probably a flatbed trailer, um, but yeah, okay guys, I'm just going to add the trailer legs to the uh, trailer these um, extend nut or, or bolt through there to adjust the heights so for now i'm just going to glue them on and then i'll uh, add some bolts later fitted the fifth wheel uh, pin there legs are on in this uh, i'm just going to now add the um, axles uh, the shafts for the wheels um, so on this here I uh, had to make this myself uh, basically um, get the bars uh, the edge of the bars down to I think it's 3.6 mil uh, step, it, step it down basically to so that the shaft goes through the actual wheel hub itself through there like so yeah let's get on with it let's do this one first I should have mentioned guys, you, you may have already noticed that I, I haven't threaded the edge of these shafts as yet but I will be doing it. Uh, obviously in this, uh, this is just sort of more of a trial, just make sure that everything's going together okay in the frame. But once I get the other set of wheels on there, obviously that's what it's, it's sort of going to be balanced out at. So that's where I'm up to with the, uh, with the trail. All that will be left to be done is once I get the uh, other axle made up, or well, the shaft to go through the axles and the wheels on, all that bit finished. Uh, the next section is going to be the bed, uh, which I'm going to have to give some thought of what I'm going to use to do that. So yeah, okay guys, I'll uh, that's it for now, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Thank you.